Hello everyone and welcome back to Torchlight. Last time we handed in the Deathless Ember to Bestman, among other things of course. And as a, as a reward we got a mysterious map scroll, so we're gonna use that right now. And these map scrolls basically put us into um, into new locations, somewhat randomly generated once again. Um, it's kind of like a side dungeon, which you gain entrance to, I guess. In this case, it's one where I'm already getting slightly stronger potions, so that's interesting. And it's kind of, but not really, a sort of uh, puzzle level, I guess. It's not really a puzzle, but it's almost as close as it gets in the game, I guess. And as you can see, big health potions are dropping here. While I'm still using normal ones in, and getting normal ones from the standard dungeon. Your pet is hurt. So, as you can see, there's a lever here in the middle which I can't reach yet, and this door is closed, both of which we're gonna have to fix. Doesn't matter which side you do first, by the way, I'm just using this one because I feel like it. Um, which is actually the only reason, there's no advantage or disadvantage to the order in which you do it. It's a shame I can't poison the skeletons with the, I guess, the poison puddles that stick around when the pale, no, when the poisonous shambler things die. Don't remember what they're called. My mana is low. And these pale shamblers have a lot of health, as do normal zombies, I guess. But they're slow, so um, I can keep my distance and just kill them that way quite easily. when you're playing with a melee character. It doesn't matter as much. Also, last time I believe I said this was a troll champion or something that looked exactly like this. Um, it's actually a construct champion, so not a troll. Corrupted champions, they're the ones that leave behind the poison clouds. Your pet is hurt. Don't step into the poison. Almost. Okay. Problem solved for now. And here's a chest which will spawn enemies when I open it. A 
annoying enemies which block half the time. And my pet is somewhere else. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you open the chest, more stuff spawns, basically. I guess there's not really that much to say, so if I'm a little quiet, uh, you have to forgive me. Alright, let's clear the area first. And in the background we can already see the... Well, we can see different parts of the dungeon. Um, sometimes what you see in the background isn't really stuff you're gonna walk on eventually. Uh, obviously that thing's out of range. Sad, but still. Um, but in this case it's actually an area we're gonna walk through eventually. And pulling this lever fills this, this pool with water and spawns more stuff. In this case, a skeleton ambush and some slower stuff. The skeletons are merely nasty because they're quite quick. The, the skeletal warriors are a lot less troublesome. And there should be more stuff spawning down here as well, yeah. So that's this side done, but we still can't get to the lever and we still can't open the door, so we have to do pretty much the same thing on the other side. I can't carry anymore. And at least, at last, my inventory is actually full. Don't need fire resistance right now. Or electrical resistance. I will need that later, but not at this... Not these amounts. They are too small. Definitely keeping those stronger potions. I'm actually selling my weaker mana potions now. Since I rarely use them anyway. Yeah, I guess I'm equipping these. And since I can, might as well eat that last thing. By the way, if you're watching this and have an opinion on the matter, tell me how ye, what your opinion is concerning using items from my shared stash. Yes, I know my pet is hurt. Um, 
because I have some useful things in there that I might use to make it a little easier on myself. But if you are deeply opposed to that, I will have to do longer farming sessions and fewer um, slightly fewer videos, or at least slightly less frequent ones, I guess, because um, I get the feeling that towards the end I will definitely have to somehow improve my character, which I could do either by just going through Shadow Ball levels and such, or by... getting stuff from other characters, like strong shields, strong armor and such. Oh, we found a bill. Your pet is free. A bill apparently is a pole arm. Okay, a few more enemies, and then of course, once we pull the lever, there's going to be more spawning. Once again, three dexterity, two defense, and I've now got the next, next level of skill, so let's just go through these. Adventurer. Um, this is one which, especially on lower difficulties, I always put points in directly, simply because increased experience and fame gain are very nice. Um, for very late game, the potion effectiveness is also very important, because the strongest potions in the game heal for maybe 2,000 points. and. Um, Towards the end you have five, six, maybe even more, five, six thousand, maybe even more um, hit points. So you can really use the additional 80% that this gives you when fully specced. Seeking Shot fires three projectiles that seek out nearby foes. Um, also not a bad skill, I just prefer Ricochet. Offensive Spell Mastery increases the level of all offensive magic spells. Since I'm currently not using any spells, this is kind of pointless. Um, if you really are focusing on using these, which I haven't found any yet, so I can show you, um, this is a useful stat, but not for me. Pushes nearby enemies away with a freezing force of righteousness. This is very useful if you're playing a hardcore character, because it can give you some breathing space. Um, I'm not gonna spec it just now yet, just now though. Defensive spell mastery is the same as the offensive spell mastery, only for defensive spells, as the name suggests, obviously. And here we have charm spell mastery, which is the same for charm spells. All in all, it's gonna be ricochet. Which now does 148% of weapon DPS. And that bridge extends, so we can reach that lever now. And of course, we're gonna be attacked again. And also, of course, we've got new enemies spawning. So this is the kind of puzzle bit of the level done, I guess. Um, as you can see, it's not that critical. Um, not that difficult, it's just... Fairly straightforward, you have to run in and 
pull the levers. It doesn't matter which order you do it in, and um, since you, there's not much puzzling involved with it. Um, we will probably see at a later point slightly more complex puzzles. And some of them are not really tricky, but... Um, Maybe they take a little more trial and error to get right. Okay. Also, just in case anyone uh, is interested, I'm playing without any modifications, so this is the unmodded game. already very nice um they heal twice as much as the standard health potions i guess nope 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 uh, fire damage and health uh, giving that one to my pet Speed and dexterity, that one is good, so I'm using it. Just plain fire damage. Nope. Your pet has departed. are a tad annoying. And as you can see, the pet is already taking a lot longer now to get back from town. These fire traps, by the way, also affect my enemies. So unlike the poison puddles, um, they can actually die in the fire. And if you don't spend too long in them, it's fine. has returned but it's struggling to actually find me. It spawns, when it returns, it spawns somewhere at the edge of the screen. So in this case, as you can see on the minimap, it spawned over there. But its pathfinding doesn't tell it it has to go all the way around to get to me, so it's just trying straight line and failing. Eventually it'll be teleported to me though, so that's okay. And oh, another, well not really a puzzle section, more of a extended room. I'm gonna spend a, lot more, a little more time in here. Teleported to me, as I said. So I'm trying to trigger all the spider spawns before I go and do the actual stuff you're supposed to do in this room to try and avoid being overwhelmed.
That big spider, by the way, looks like a boss, but it actually isn't. It's just a regular tunnel spider. Your pet is no idea why, but it's just not a boss. Despite the fact that it's one of the few enemies that get um, like a special entrance animation, like where the camera, we had the camera moving over there and showing us the stuff, the, the spider spawning. Um, which we usually only see that with like the story bosses, but it's just a regular enemy. Okay. Now on pulling this lever, a fair amount of skeletons will spawn. Hold it. And I want to get out of there as fast as possible. And some of the spiders will spawn also. Like, these spawns are only activated when I pull the lever, so I couldn't have triggered these beforehand. Here, these skeletons actually spawn before pulling the trigger. Uh, this, again, is... I'm not certain if it's a bug or not. If it is, it's a really minor one. But it's always the same in this room. The leaf, yes, there's also another spider spawn. spawning here for whatever reason. Another one of the big spiders spawning. I have the feeling that the scripting is a little messed up in this room. But I don't know. Another spider spawn, I'm not certain. Okay, that was the last one. Again, this was not much of a puzzle, as you couldn't really... Couldn't make any mistakes, I guess. Your pet is yep, but we're almost done anyway. Your pet is hurt. Your pet has fled. By the way, this dungeon which we're currently in, is not actually randomly generated. Um, it's always exactly the way it is. Like, the enemies are random, but the general outlook of this map is always the same, so... That's why I could give fairly specific advice. Okay, I'm overburdened. Okay, so let's try the Shrine of Enchantment on my rifle. Fortune okay, we got a new socket, which is not too bad. Um, any item can have up to two sockets, so when enchanting there's also a chance to get more sockets, in case it doesn't have the two it could get already. I'll do that. And we're done. So, portal it is. What can I do for you? Uh, still not the right kind of spell. See you later. 
so I'm gonna check the gambler quickly, see if he's got anything I might be interested in. Uh, I don't want... To. this one might be nice. Hmm, it actually is. Yeah. Definitely going to replace my rifle, I think. Some ice damage, some electric damage, some poison damage, which is good. Um, like the elemental damage does have a certain chance of, of adding additional effects, like ice damage adds a slowing effect, I think lightning damage can make a small AoE shock, fire damage can cause burning, uh, not so certain, uh, poison damage can poison I guess. Let's see if he's got any shields, no he doesn't, and I'm not particularly interested in buying trinkets. Even though this one, for some reason, is a lot more pricey than the other ones. Which I'm thinking means it's quite good, but I don't have 12,000 gold anyway. Time. And I can't get gold from other characters, so... Tough luck. But it definitely means that this pistol is obsolete, because this one's stronger. Zukai is level 14, of course, which I haven't reached yet. I'm also gonna check the blacksmith for shields. But he doesn't seem to have any good ones. Yeah. So, all that being said and done, I'm guessing I'll see you next time. Bye bye!